each of these two developments illustrates now a fault line within the FCC's internet policy. And I'm going to talk about them in turn. Uh, but in each case, what we see is the FCC approaching essentially net neutrality issues with a simplistic understanding of how the internet operates, which, as Christopher points out, tends to be rooted in people's mid-90s experiences. But then they tack on concessions to reality because they discover in the course of their proceedings that the internet is a lot more complicated than they realized. But the way they integrate the new knowledge is exceedingly imperfect. And so what you see are almost afterthoughts, nods to reality in the course of FCC policymaking 